Something you want to talk about? Mahali ambapo tulisoma Jumapili hii kisha. Where we read last Sunday. Those who are there. Katika Mathayo 5:23 23 pale. From Matthew chapter 5 verse 23. Eh ambapo ilituambia He told us this. Eh ukiwa unaenda kutoa zaka that if you kill you are going to give a sacrifice na ukajipata kwamba kuna mahali umetofautiana ndugu yako and you find that you are not in good terms with your brother ikatuambia kwamba ukawache sadaka ile katika madhifamu and he told us that you should leave that sacrifice at the altar there alafu uende utengeneza amani na ndugu yako ndio ukije otoe hiyo sadaka that you go back and reconcile with your brother then you come and offer your sacrifice na tukapata kwamba hakuna ibada tunafaa kufanya kama hatuko katika roho moja. And we found out that there is no service we have to There is no service we have to do if we are not in one heart. Bwana Yesu sana. Praise God. So na katika pale kuna jambo nataka tusungumzie tena. And we want to talk about another thing from the same verse. Ya kwamba wakati unatambua mmetofautiana ndugu yako that when you realize that you are not in good terms with your brother hapo na hapo the same point there ndio nafaa kutafuta amani you should make peace at that time ani wakati wa msamaha that when you are asking for forgiveness sio mambo ya baadaye it's not something that you should come later umekosana mtu leo jioni that you are not in good terms today with a brother or a sister na huyo mtu muko naye and you are with that person that point sio mzuri ngoja mpaka kesho asubuhi ndio mtengeneze maneno you should not wait until the following day then you say you want to ask for forgiveness and kulingana na Mungu according to the teachings kama mmetofautiana that if you are not in good terms with anyone Mungu anataka hiyo kitu ishughulikwe kwanza kuliko mambo mengine yote that we see from the teaching that you should sort out that matter immediately before anything else kwa sababu tarumbeta ifia because when you, the trumpets sound na ulikuwa umesema uta utamsamee kesho asubuhi and you say that you will forgive them the coming day na tarumbeta inalia usiku and the trumpets sings the that night wewe unaona tena mbinguni do you think you are going to heaven unajua ni kwa maana gani do you know What it means? Mungu kusema kama mmetofautiana na mtu usikubali jua kutua kama bado mko na yeye na shida. That when you are not in good terms with anyone you should not allow the sun to go down before you solve the problem. And katika mambo ya msamaha that when it comes to forgiveness and inatakana ikuwe ni kitu ya hapo na hapo. It should be at that particular time. Hii mambo ya kusema nitakusamea mbinguni. This thing of saying that we shall forgive one another in heaven. Mbinguni hakuna mambo ya kusameana. There's no forgiveness in heaven. Mbinguni kwanza unafika kama umequalify. In heaven you go to heaven when you are qualified. Sasa kama hujaitimu hapa duniani. That if you are not qualified in this world. Na hawendi mbinguni. And you are not going to heaven. Watanipata wapi mbinguni? Where we are you going to find me in heaven? Wala mbinguni sasa utaenda mbinguni ndio watu watu watolewe pale waende jana. Do you think that people will go to heaven first so that they can be selected those who are going to hell? Kuna mada ambapo tutahukumiwa. There is a place that the judgment will take place. Na hapo mahali ndio utaamua mahali kwa kuamulia kama unaenda mbinguni au unaenda jahanamu. And that is where they decide if you are going to heaven or to hell. So kumekuwa na shida katika maisha ya Ukristo. So there are, there has been a problem in this this this, this life of Amen. Unapata kwamba that you find that umetofautiana na mtu you are not in good terms with someone na mnasema mkae msuluhishe hiyo wakati and you say that you are to solve that issue that time lakini shetani anaingia ndani ya mtu hapo and the devil enters someone that place na huyo mtu hayuko tayari huyo msamaha ifanye sahihi and that person is not ready to forgive at that time and that unasema nitamsamae baada ya miezi mbili and you say that you will forgive them after two months or so swali nakuuliza the question is tarumbeta ikilia that when the trumpet sound na ujasamae huyo mtu and you have not forgiven this person hamjatengeneza mambo na huyo mtu that you have not solved the problem with this person na kulikuwa na nafasi mshughulikie hiyo jambo and there was a chance to solve that problem oh tena mbinguni you think you are going to heaven 
Kuna mtu akapa kwa hapo na hakika anaweza ingia kwenye tarifa ile. Anyone who among us who thinks that if the trumpets sound now they are going to heaven. Sasa hiyo shida ndio tumekuwa nayo kama watu ambao tumeokoka. That is the problem that we as born again people are facing. Wakati tunatofautiana that when we are not in good terms with one another. Badala ya kushughulikia ile jambo, kushughulikia ile jambo hapo na hapo tunachukua muda ambao tunataka ni kushughulikia. Instead of us solving that problem at that particular time we take long time to solve the problem. Hakuna hiyo shida inaende na saa shida nyingine. That problem also comes again and we find that we are doing many problems. Na kulikuwa na nafasi ambayo tungeshughulikia hiyo shida hapo na hapo. And there was a chance to solve that problem at that time. So katika mambo ya msamaha. So when it comes to forgiveness. Kwanza simple ya leo. From today. Unajua kwamba ukitofautiana na mtu You should know that when you are not in good terms with anyone Munga anataka hapo na hapo mshughulike na mkaelewane sio baadaye That God wants us to forgive each and every one at that particular time not later Lakini ukisema ni baadaye hiyo ni mawazo yako sasa But when you say that you will forgive them after some period of time that's your own problem Na kila wakati kitakupata baada ya hapo wewe ni wewe mwenyewe umejitakia sasa And whatever shall follow after that is is what you are, you, you want it to happen that to because kulingana na hii maandiko because according to the word imetuambia wakati tunagundua kwamba hamgeelewani we see that when we, you find that you are not in good terms with a person wajana mambo yote you should leave all other things ili ukashughulikie hiyo shida that you solve that problem hiyo ni Mungu anataka hata katika ibada zetu That is what God wants us even in our services. Kama kuna changamoto imepata watu ambao wameokoka. That when there is a challenge among believers. Mungu hataki tuseme hata tutashughulikia baadaye. God doesn't want us to say that we shall solve it later. Hiyo ndio tumekuwa tukifanya. We have been doing that. Lakini kulingana hii maandiko, but according to the word, kama kumekuwa na shida katikati watu walioamini shughulikiwe hapo na hapo. That if there has been a problem, the matter should be solved immediately. And we see that from this group of apostles, that when there was this issue about those who are given food and those who are not denied, the disciples called a meeting, They said that we are not going to leave the gospel because of this what? Lakini tutashughulikia hili jambo na tukiendelea na injili. But we are going to solve the issue as we continue with the gospel. So hiyo ndio tabia ya watu wengi ambao tumeokoka tumekuwa ndani. That is the problem that many Christians are facing. Lakini siku ya leo, but today, kama mtu atakukwaza, if you are not in good terms with anyone, wewe toe mtu ya wakati. Call that person that particular time. Mwambie hapa mahali umenikwaza. Tell him or rather that at this point you, I'm, not, I'm not satisfied. You need it wrong. Na nataka tusuluhishe saa hii. And we, let's solve it right now. Wewe mtu akitaka. If the person does not want, sasa wewe utakuwa nao. You shall be out of it. Because hata tangumbeka ikilia Mungu ataona ulikuwa na juhudi ya kuisuluhisha na ukakataswa. Because if the trumpet sound you see that God will see that you tried your best but the that person did not. Lakini ukijipea muda wako. But if you give yourself some time. Sasa hapo utakuwa unajiingiza katika mambo mengine. That is when you shall be going another way. So kwanza siku ya leo msamaha unafaa ukuya hapo na hapo. So from today we see that forgiveness should be at that particular time. Na hakuna mambo ya baadaye sana. There's no things that we should. Kwa sababu kama hatujelewana saa hii. Because when you have not solved that issue at that time. Na kuna kipindi ni kipindi kingine tunaweka tutaelewana kwa hiyo kipindi kwa hiyo kipindi. And there's another point we are going to face. Are we going to be good times? So najua mtakuwa nakumbuka ya kwamba hatujelewana. Kwani tuelewane kwa hiki? Then I'll be remembering that we did not solve the previous issue. Why should we now agree on this? Even for us who are here. Even in our homes. At work. If you're not in good terms with your fellow colleagues. Don't just be there saying that let me do my work today and go. Even in marriage. Hamjelewani na mke ama na mume. You are not in good terms with your husband or wife. Wewe amlio mtu saa hii kweli. Tell him or that particular time. Watu kusema watu wacha nitakuja kama 
Don't say that you'll come when he's in good mood so that you can solve, no. Or don't just say that, let me go and cook for him that food he loves so that we can forgive. So when the trumpet sounds, uh, before you cook that food, what will happen? Even in marriage, when you are facing problems, you should solve it immediately. That when your fellow partner is not ready, that will be some problem. Let's go. And that is the truth we want to bring back to the Church of God. The last one. That we see from the teaching, we see that God said that if you are, you see that you are not in good terms with your brother, find another way of solving Now we want to look at the thing that you are not agreeing with your brother. Because someone can come with something and say that this is the thing that is making us not agree. For example, if one comes in the morning and tells you that in this house I see that there are many responsibilities and I see that there is a lot of work here. And he, and he tells you that the way to solve it is by adding another wife so that she can help you with the work. And he forces you and tells you that you must agree with that he says. Is that anything? Is that something that you can agree with? Praise God. Because many people will come with their own words. That anything that we see from the word, it should be according to the way we God wants us to be. So someone comes here on a Sunday. We see that this person has a tattoo on his back and he has written there Lion of Judah. And we tell him that this tattoo is not good. And then we, we, we part ways with him. And the person is not okay when you tell him that that tattoo is bad. And he, he wants us to sit down and negotiate and agree that what he has done is okay. And even if we sit down with him, we will not agree. Because that tattoo is, is sin. And we shall not agree. So, if that person, can that person make me or you not to come and praise God? Praise God. For example, you are in, a, in marriage and it comes a time your wife tells you that if you are not taking that dowry at our place, I'm going back there. And she tells you that this month you will not go and she tells you that if you are not going to agree on that matter, she is leaving. And she is not ready for that negotiation that you take down after two months. She wants that when she says that month, it should be that month. And now you are not in good terms in the house. So can that make you not to come and praise God? Are you going to sit there so that when you solve with your wife is when you come to praise God? Because many people will come with many things. 
And they start saying that even our preacher said that if you are not, if you have not solved the wife or husband, they should not come and praise God. What we see from the word. That we, if you are not in good terms, it should be according to the word of God. You should not come and say that today, today is on a Saturday. That we had planned to come and do cleaning in the church. And you start saying that that Saturday is the birthday of my uncle, we should go there. So when I refuse to go in with you, that we are, we are not in good terms with you. So should I not come and worship the following day because I did not go with you on that birthday? That is the reason you should understand very well the word. That anything that is making you not to be in good terms with anyone should be the word of God. Because it will be a very wide conversation that he should be arising here and there that if you are not in good terms that preacher said that there is no need of me going to church even going to church to church is wasting time do you think God doesn't know our thoughts you will find that there is this person who is staying in the house thinking that he is doing the right and he is talking bad about this person who is going to pray telling him that we should solve our matter first so that we can go to church that if you have not solved there is no need of us going to church praise God this is the way it should be. That if you that there are mistakes that have happened according, according to the word of God, the first thing you should do is look for the solution. And know that they should, the solution that you not agree, maybe. Any human here who is ready to have a, 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 a co-wife so that he can help her with her work at home. So if you have not agreed with your husband on that matter, and you say that you should finish first so that you can go and pray. And according to the word of God, the truth is that a man should love one wife. Now this man is forcing you to solve that issue first. Now I want that what, what God is telling us from the word is, is the one that we should follow, not according to our fellow human. Someone comes and tells you that I want a fundraising, there is a memorial back at home, I need some money or some assistance. Now as a church you have not helped that person. Now you find that this person is not coming to church because the, the church did not help him raise funds to go back home. Do you think when you go there and tell him that doing memorial at home is good is when he'll come to church? You should know that doing memorial is bad. It will not happen because of you. Let us finish that. I don't I think that everyone is getting a point. 
kwa sababu nimeona kuna watu wataanza kukuja na vitu wakisema hata mtumizi jana alituambia atujelewana atusiende tusiende paka tumalizane because many will come and say that even a uh, preacher said that it should happen this way so we should finish that thing first Let's go. Kama kuna shida yote imetokea watu mmeokoza kuelewana. If there is any issue that has happened and you are not agreed or solved. You should solve that thing that time. Na kulingana na Mungu. And according to God. Msiende na mawazo yenu. You should not go there with your thoughts. Atuache nifanye hivi ndio huyu mtu akubali akuja kwa upande wangu. Hapana. That is I should do the, it this way so that that person can come and be on my side. I don't think he, I think everyone is getting a point there. Now, anyone with a question? Mimi ningependa kuuliza Biblia inaruhusu mtu kuwa mapipi wawili ama watatu? We shall answer as like this way. Ya kwamba Biblia hairuhusu mtu kuwa mapipi wawili ama watatu. That the Bible is not allowing a man to have two or three wives. If it was like that, we see that Adam would have been given even ten wives. Because during that time of Adam is when they were need of having many people in the world. There were very few people at the beginning. But God gave Adam one wife. Sasa kama wakati wa wa Adamu alikuwa mmoja kwa nini wakati huu wakuwe watatu? So when at the time of Adam he only had one wife. So why should we have them at these days? So Biblia haihusu. So the Bible kama kuna makanisa yanaruhusu. There are some churches that allow yanasema hivi and they say this. Muradi uko na uwezo wa kuandisha. As long as you have the ability of feeding them and there is another one that is saying that women should get married even three to one man because there are many women than men. Those are thoughts of man. Because not everyone was, every man is going to marry or get married. From the word we see that there are those who will marry and those who will not get married. But the teachings of this world are saying that every man should marry and every woman should get married. Now we don't want to talk about not getting married because it will be a very long topic. Sasa, I will see you. So it doesn't allow it. Anyone? Me na shukuru kwa hiyo nzuri tumesikia jana wa leo kama ni kwenye. Sasa mambo nilikuwa nasikia injili ya Rasani jana. Sasa nikakuwa najiuliza na ile wimbi inasema hakuna kitu inafaa kutenge na upendo wa Yesu. Na ile injili ilikuwa inasema kama uja umekuwa na shida na ndugu yako kama utakamilisha Usikuje kwa ibana ama usikuje kutoa sadaka. Sasa hiyo maswali nilikuwa najiuliza jana. Alafu kitu kingine kama mtu umejaribu unataka kuongea na yeye msuluhishe, na hiyo mtu yuko tayari utafanya aje? Bwana jana mtu. That when you are not in good terms with anyone. Kwanza wewe na huyo mtu mnafaa mkuwe na usafi. You and that person you you must have a good heart. Lakini problem na kuwa kila mtu ako na roho yake bila nataka. The problem is that you find that you and him or her you have two different hearts. Na kila mtu anataka kimiziwe mapenzi yake. And everyone wants them to fulfill according to the way they, they want. Sio mapenzi ya Mungu. Not according to the will of God. Sasa ndio tutapata kutakuwa na shida katikati ya wewe na wewe. That is where the problem comes. But now if all of you agree and be under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you leave your own thoughts and the other person leaves his own will 
And you have that heart of being humble. You will solve at that time. And when you are coming to solve, the problem comes out that you find that each and every person wants it to want it to solve the problem according to him. So So if, if it does not it does not go the way he wants, he shall not get satisfied. For example, this man wanted to marry a second wife. When we go and, talk and try to talk to him, for this person to agree with us, he wants us to agree with him and say that it is okay. But when we go and tell him that it's not okay, he shall separate from us. But if that person agrees and say that he is leaving his own thoughts and follow the will of God, he will not he will not have his own will. Now he loves the guidance of the word of God. For example, as Mama Flora said, that you are not in good terms with anyone. And you find that this person, this person is not is not ready. What do you think is making you feel that this person is not ready? Is it because he has from? Or is it because you are talking to him and he's not answering back? According to God, you should go and face that person and tell them that you want us to talk. And what I want us to talk about is this and this. If he says no, now you are out of it. But him or her getting brownies should not worry you. Praise God. His face changing, it should not worry you. It's normally a problem when we see that this person has changed his face. And he has a from face. And he starts saying that let me cook this best meal so that he can get happy. You should go and face that person until he says no. Now there God will say that at least you went there but the person was not ready. But anything that he says so if he has not said no, you should just go up there. And you also should leave your own will and follow the will of God. Because you, uh, you, you can be in bad terms with them. But all of you, there is none, of, none who is in the right. Because everyone who is right is coming and bringing the right thing. And the right can make you not be happy. Or that right thing can make one of you happy. And you start saying that this person and come and take this one. That's the problem is that we normally judge from the appearance of the other pa person. For example, what report can you give to God and tell him that I went to that person but he, he said no? Now you start saying that I saw his face, it was, it was not good. I saw that his face changed. And I saw that he can even beat me there. Those are your own thoughts. You should give a report to God that you went there with that person, but the person said no. But if you yourself decide on yourself, that will be your problem. 
mtu wa mwisho ukipata mtu alikuwa ajaokoka lakini ana kona watu wawili alafu aokoke kama mchungaji utampatia advice gani kwa nini sasa aliyoa pia katika kisa that this man married twice because he was not saved now he is saved and he still has the two wives what advice can you give this man huyu mtu anafaa kutunza wale wake na akae nao so this man should give the two wives and stay with them onyo tu azifukuze mmoja na asikuje kuongeza mwingine Uh, the, the issue is that he should not chase one or add another one. But the one who is born again, <laughs> we know the problem. <laughs> another thing about that issue, that question about more flowers. Uh, I had another opinion that when you find that you see that this person is not ready for you to sit together and solve maybe that problem i think it's from the same bible that he's saying that you should approach someone else or a preacher or a servant of god and tell them that approach that person so that he can come you can use that for example if it is a preacher he can go to that person and talk to him or her, then you can come together and solve that issue. Perfect. Perfect. Amen. And that is what we see from the teachings. That if you use another person to go and talk to them, that person says no, and you send other people to go there now you can bring that problem to the church and if that person says even no to the servants of God now that person is left as person of the world now the, you, you, you will not be blamed because you have done your own you are the right hapo iko sawa man eh someone who has died can you ask for my forgiveness praise god praise god praise god kwanza mungu anasema yeye sio mungu watu waliyekufa go we see that god is saying that is is not a god of the dead mungu anataka tufanye maamuzi yetu kama bado tuko hai God wants us to solve our issues when you are still alive. When a person has died, all that he did is the end. That is the end. There is nothing that is going to change this person from what he did when he was still alive. So if that person died be before you had solved your issues, uh, and you are you are a believer and you knew the truth and you had a chance to go and ask for forgiveness there is nothing that can take place there you will carry your own cross if it's a person who is lost and of this world that is another room but we are not saying that when you are not in good terms a person who is lost or is in darkness you should not ask for forgiveness him also you should solve with them that issue because you can't talk to the dead We, we, have we have already said that we should not wait for someone or you you wait and you realize that this person is very sick and you see that he might die anytime that is when you are going to there and say that let's assume we should not wait until that time
inafanya kuwa mkiko sana mtu hapo na hapo kuna suluhisha it's so good that when you realize that you are wrong the other person you should ask for forgiveness there because how do you but then nikina tokea because you don't know what is going to happen in the following minutes imambo ya baadaye kuanzia leo tuache this thing of we shall solve our issues later we should leave it today hata kwa hiyo kanisa leo even here in church today kama kuna mtu amekukwaza tukimaliza mkifuta mbaya kwa kwana If you are not in good terms with anyone here before you leave and go to your house make sure you approach that person and solve. Wastoka hapo na kwenda kwa nyumba na huyo mtu. Don't leave this place and go in your house and start complaining there and say so and so. Hata sisi ambao tunakopii even as you are preaching. Ukiona mahali nimeenda na kaona saibu kuingia msuri. If you realize that it, there is a point uh, I missed maybe it was not good. Nitafuta tukae chini tumaliza. Look for me before I leave so that we can solve that issue. Lakini usinipeleke kwa mtu mwingine kama hujakuja kwangu. You should not take me to another person before you approaching me. Kuna nipeleke kwa mwingine kama nimekataa. You will take me to another person if I am sick. Na usinitumie mtu na wewe uko hapo mwenye tofautiana wewe. But you should not send to me someone you should face me. Kuja tukae kino niambie hapa just as au kwenda msuri. You should face me first and tell me that here you did not do Well, tumeelewana I hope you are so, mambo ya 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 kwanza kutumia mtu na huyu mtu ameongea naye yes. Ukimletea habari ya mtu nitakuuliza umeshaongea naye kama mjaongea naye wewe ndio naye Hapo tumeelewana We are clear there Wacha tupitie hapo mahali so kwanza siku ya leo sisi kama vikundi cha Bilima Dubai so from today as Bilima Dubai group We should next five there. Ili tukakae maisha masuri. So that we can have a good life. Because kumekuwa na changamoto kusimokuwe. Because there has been a very big challenge. Ha, ani unapata watu wametofautiana katikati ya wiki. You realize that people have they are they are at the table. Lakini kifika siku ya Jumapili. But when it comes to Sunday, unasikia and may the grace <laughs> and you find that well, that the people of change that say that may the grace hapo uko katika kanisa even in church unaona mimi bwana hapo kuna mhusiana na mwenyemelea you hear that that the this lady who is approaching your man hapo naombea unaomba huyo mhusiana akufe and you are praying that this lady should die okay. ukisikia the may the grace but when you just hear say may the grace unaenda kumsalimia You go and shake hands with that. <laughs> But you start saying that this lady should die so that she can live with my mom. So you are that beer kina part of the vision of the people. So we should rectify your that habit and we go to heaven. Wacha tuamini. Let us believe. Yesu tunasema ni asante kwa mafundisho haya na tunaomba ya kwamba wale ambao wameyasikia wacha wakayafanyie kazi. Tumekuwa tumerogwa ya kwamba Mungu wakati tunatofautiana wengine tunajipea mawazo yetu ya miaka na siku na wakati ambao tunahitaji lakini kulingana na wewe umetufundisha Mungu tunapotofautiana tushughulikie hapo na hapo kwa sababu sijui mambo ya baadaye na Bwana umetuambia kwamba tukakae katika njia ya kujua kila ambacho kinafanya tutofautiane ikuwe ni mapenzi yako Mungu tusikuje na mapenzi yetu na tunataka ukaweze kututimizia na Mungu tunajua hautatimiza na hapo Mungu taanze kujikwaza na kuanza kufanya vitu kulingana na mawazo yetu kila mmoja aliye mali hapa mtakazo ukamuoshe katika jina la Yesu anaposikia ile neno tunapobadilisha Mungu likawe salama Mungu tumekataa vitu vyote ambavyo vinaweza kuja katika kikundi hiki papa kuleta migawanyiko watu tukae katika mambo ya kugaruzana lakini napofikia siku ya ibada tumejaa unafiki na ukoa ndani Mungu hiyo alama tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu tupate kushindwa. Hata tunapowachana hii wiki kila mmoja mbariki, Mungu kila ambacho atashika, kila ambacho atafanya, wacha kitakuwa baraka kwake. Ili Bwana roho ya kunungunika, roho ya kukosa kutosheka, Mungu ikashindwe katika jina la Yesu. Kwa kwa Yesu Mungu aliye hai, tumeomba na tumeamini.